Hey there guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my review for Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Korriban. So for this part of the review, I am about to complete my final task in that I need to go into the tomb of Naga Sadao, accomplish that in order to um, get to the star map. So basically my companions are being left there and I have to go into the tomb myself. Um, Essentially from here, it's going to be a matter of completing the tomb and then going against the headmaster of the um, school or his apprentice. So that's kind of where we're starting off from here. So this is a this conversation is a little bit of a prelude in that Yuthura is trying to overthrow Uthar, her master, and you're caught your character is caught in the middle to decide which side you wanna um go with. Okay, so from here we basically have to get to the tomb in order to uh, finish the test and then come back and fight Yuthura or Uthar and basically essentially survive everything or whatever is in this tomb. So um, this is going to probably be a full test of the force abilities that I've accomplished or pulled off from now. So um, I guess having the death field is going to hopefully come in handy and I don't run out of um, force powers too quickly. So it's going to be a matter of making sure I don't die. And of course I ran right into a mine. So it's a good thing that I defeated those two beasts right off the bat. So we have an acid pool. Um, I guess I'll do a save there um, and put on some shield, see if I can run across it. A dangerous pool. Uh, okay, so um, pro there's probably something that has to be um, done beforehand in order to finish that. So we'll go this other way check out the skeletal remains, see what's on this. And then take a look at the data pad. See, uh, hopefully it's something that I can get to pretty quickly. So it's a matter of um, freezing over the pool, uh, pool of acid in order to get across. So I guess we have to defeat whatever is in this room, which um, I have a feeling is going to be a lot of stuff. Or two, ten. Okay, so I think this is the um, the beast that um, we were told about on Dantooine, so we'll see how, or I assume. So let's do some more green energy because I'm running low on life. So we'll keep doing that for a little bit and then let our force powers rebuild. So um, th this is one of those cases where um, if you, regardless of the side you go on, you want to make sure that you um, have either drain life or heal so that you can heal yourself as you're fighting. But at least drain life on the dark side um, takes the life of your enemies at the same time as he healing yourself. So um, it's one of those things that um, accomplishes two missions. 
So since we finished that, we'll explore. So there's a lever there. Um, so I'm going to take a look at what's in this person, Shayla's journal. And find out what's going on here, Jedi Shayla. So it looks like she's she was um filled with rage. So um that's what it eventually did her in and that's how she um may possibly while she died. So See if that lever does it and see what this pillar of fire is for. Special fire grenade. So I guess defeating those two monsters was to get those two grenades and that was the purpose of going that way so now we'll go back here. So we'll do a quick save just in case um, whatever we choose is not doesn't work. So we'll launch that cold grenade at it. So now we can go across this pool. And we'll force run just to uh, get across quickly. So now we actually get to the star map. So that was that part was actually the easy part. So I think the uh, hard part is actually going to be fighting either Uthar or Win the Headmaster or Ethera Bound the Apprentice. So it all depends on um, what we do from here. So we have the last of the star maps, and we can get to the star forge from here. So now we just have to find this lightsaber. So Sith lightsaber. So So the Sith lightsaber into the So, so now we get, uh, rather than the generic star map, which is like a map, we get a more um, complete looking map. So from here, um, we'll do, since we're all healed up, we'll do a quick save, and now we have to head back to, um, so with our win is now here. So now we have to deal with them fighting against each other. So Uthar is um, praising you as taking action and being in the dark side. So it's just a matter of um, boosting what Uthar says about the Sith um, being superior. So now that we understand what he's trying to say, so the last part of the training is so now he wants he's gonna have us fight uh, with Yuthuraban in order to prove the superiority and that we don't care about anyone.
So in this case, I'm going to try and take them both down. Um, in order to see if I can destroy um, both of them at the same time. Um, so I'm going to steal their energy for as long as I can. Uh, looks like Uthar is almost done, and then we'll worry about um, whoever is left after that. So Uthura is done, so now I'm going to take down um, Uthur, Uthar Win, and he's done with. So I'll take their remains and be done with it. Um, that was actually a lot easier than I thought, and for some reason Uthura Ban is carrying a whole bunch of credits, 1500, so um, that's weird. Uh, so it looks like he has um, Uthar Win has some good... Um, um, armor, so I'm going to see if I can use his armor over myself in order to, um, or I can use his suit with my, with force armor, it doesn't look like I can, so, um, I will stick to what, I can't use the Dark Master either, so, uh, Dark Jedi armor. So I'm going to take a quick look at what his armor was just to see if it is something that I can or can't wear. So it doesn't look like it's anything I can wear, so I'll do a quick save and then it's time to get back to the uh, ship and um, complete the game, or get off the planet. Um, I guess I should go in the right direction. Yeah, I'm almost heading back towards the star map. So from here, it's a matter of get now getting to the star forge. If I don't know that the game is going to let you uh, finish any of the other quests or not, but if they do, we can always try going to Tatooine or Dantooine to see if we can get more experience points to try and level up a little bit more, but um, if not, that's alright too, it's a matter of going to the Star Force, we have enough um, um, skill, I hope, to um, complete the game and at least defeat Malik. so we'll head back to the academy. We can't return to the ship directly from here, so this is where a uh, force run comes into handy. So as long as your team members are back um, where you left them, then um, it should be easy to get to the academy, um, because I'm trying to think if the academy from here turns on you or not, or uh, what happens from here. So these guys don't believe me that I'm Revan, um, or that I'm strong, that I am Revan, so um, we'll see if I can... So I'm going to take his, their energy for as long as I can. Um, that should hopefully um, drain them out a little bit and kill them all. So uh, that was actually easier than I thought. Um, but it did take out uh, most of my force and uh, power energy. So 
going to be more fighting from here on out. Assuming that um, Kandris and Jolie Bindo are where I left them, then I should be able to fight my way. Or Yep, so it looks like um, they should be coming back to joining my, me shortly, assuming they're not fighting anyone. So, oh, there they are. So. I'm not sure, oh. and of course Julie and Candorus are down, so. So I'm just going to use the Jolie to heal us up while I I think from here it's just going to be a matter of getting back to the ship and fighting our way through the, through the academy, so it should be pretty uh, straightforward from here, although I'm not sure where uh, Candorus is, so um, it might be a matter of uh, catching up to him. So basically it's just fighting all of the fifth students. So this is that case where having another force user with heal actually is coming into handy because when you have this many um, students to fight against, um, it does take a lot of your energy, especially if they get a lot of, if they land a lot of lows. Once we defeat these guys, I'm going to use Jolie to heal us up, um, and then that way we can get Candor's back and um, fight. That way we have um, three people fighting in the, the on the team rather than just the two. So I'll use this the rest of Jolie's healing. So. Having the candorous as, as a person shooting is always a good thing to have, so uh, I'm not going to complain too much about that. And then I'll also do a quick save so that way, um, at least if anything goes wrong. This is probably going to be the last time we can look at a Korriban sunrise or sunset. I'll assume sunset. So with that, we'll move.
know someone stops us and realize wonders why we're going to that's which I doubt anyone will. So So we'll board the Ebon Hawk and um I guess we'll be done with Korriban. So overall Korriban is the easiest level only if you do it last. Uh, mostly because you have your um, all your four towers um, over time. You have your, you know, for example, on the dark side, you have um, you know, the force lightning, um, death shield. taking that order and basically just having that sort of plan 